Hi, everyone. Well, when last we saw John the Baptist, he was preaching repentance to the people. And all the Judean countryside were coming down to him and hearing him preach. And many of them were confessing their sins, and they were being baptized in the Jordan River. And remember, we talked about what baptism was. When people went under the water, it was signifying that they were turning their back on their old way of life, their sin. And when they came up out of the water, it was like they were being born into a new life, and they were going to go in a new direction. And so John was baptizing people, and he was also telling people that there was someone coming after John who was so much greater than John that John wasn't even worthy to untie his sandals. Well, one day, that person came. Can you guess who it was? It was Jesus. And when John saw Jesus coming, he said, Look, there's the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the entire world. This is who I was talking about. This is the one that I said is so much greater than I am because he was before me. I didn't even know who it was. But I came baptizing with water so that he might be revealed to Israel, so that all Israel might know who he was. Well, Jesus asked John to do something that really shocked John. Jesus asked John to baptize him. John said, me baptize you. I'm the one who needs to be baptized by you. But Jesus said, no, no, this is the way it needs to be. And so John agreed and he baptized Jesus. And when Jesus came up out of the water, something amazing happened. Heaven opened And the Holy Spirit came down in the form of a dove and landed on Jesus. And a voice spoke from heaven. And the voice said, This is my Son, whom I love. In him I am well pleased. Well, John spoke to the people, and he said, I came baptizing with water, and the one who sent me to baptize with water said, The one that you see the Holy Spirit come down and remain on, that is he who will baptize with the Holy Spirit. Well, John said, I have seen, and now I testify that this is the Son of God. Well, after all these things happened, the Holy Spirit led Jesus out into the wilderness to be tempted by Satan. So Jesus was out there for 40 days, and he actually had nothing to eat, and he was with the wild animals. And at the end of 40 days, I imagine Jesus was pretty hungry. Well, Satan came to Jesus, and he said, if you are the Son of God, tell this stone to become bread. But Jesus, he responded with the strongest weapon of all, And that weapon wasn't a sword. And that weapon wasn't a fighter jet. No. It was the sword of the Spirit, the Word of God. And Jesus said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Well, after that, Satan took Jesus up to the highest point of the temple, way up high. And he said, if you're really the son of God, throw yourself off the top of this building. Because it is written, he will command his angels concerning you and they will lift you up in their hands so that you won't even strike your foot against a stone. Well, Jesus responded, It is also written, do not put the Lord your God to the test. Well, finally, Satan took him to a high mountain and he showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their riches and their beauty. And he said, all of this I will give to you if only you will worship me. Jesus said, away from me, Satan, for it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. And the Bible tells us that Satan did leave and that angels came and took care of Jesus. Well, that's our story for today. But today we're going to do something a little bit extra, a little bit fun. So 
What I want you to do is I want you to go find something interesting that's red and something interesting that's blue. So hit the pause button and go find those things and then come back and we're going to play a game. Okay, so I hope you had time to find your red object and your blue object. We're going to play red, blue, false, true. So red, blue, false, true means that I'm going to ask you 10 questions about the story from last week and they're true, false questions. So if you think the answer is true, you're going to lift up whatever you chose that's blue because it's true blue. And if you think the answer is false, if you think, no, that's not true, then you're going to hold up your red, okay? So blue is true, red is not true. All right, and if you get all 10 correct, and you are from my Sunday school, tell your mom, and I will send a special GIF for you. Okay? All right, so number one, this is our first question. Okay, true or false? And I'll give you five seconds to answer. Okay, and you hold it up. All right, true or false? Joseph, Mary's husband, was a carpenter. Is that true or false? Okay, you have five seconds. It was true. Okay, yes, Joseph was a carpenter. Okay, question number two. All right, every year, Jesus' parents traveled to Jerusalem to celebrate Mother's Day. Is that true or is that false? Five seconds. That one is false. Every year, Jesus' parents traveled to celebrate Passover, not Mother's Day. All right, question number three. Passover was a holiday so the people could remember how God had saved Israel out of slavery and out of the land of Egypt. Is that true or is that false? All right, five seconds. That is true. All right, I hope you're doing well. Number four. Passover lasted for seven days. Is that true or is that false? Oh, my light's coming on. All right. That was true. All right, number five, halfway there. Mary and Joseph traveled for one entire day before they noticed that Jesus was not with them. Is that true or false? That was true. Okay, number six. Mary found Jesus playing in the streets of Jerusalem. Is that true or false? Five seconds. That one was false. Mary didn't find Jesus playing in the streets. She found him in the temple. Remember listening to the teachers and asking them questions? And, every, you know, it was just amazing. All right. I almost gave away my next question. Number seven. The people were amazed at Jesus' understanding and his answers. Was that true or false? That was true. They were amazed at Jesus' understanding and his answers. All right, number eight. John the Baptist wore clothing made from sheep's wool. Was that true or false? That one was false. Remember, John wore clothing made from camel's hair. Okay, number nine. John ate locusts and wild honey. Is that true or false? 
What do you think? That one was true. John ate locusts and wild honey. Number 10. John came to prepare the way for Jesus. Is that true or false? That one was true. All right. Well, I hope you did well. And if you got 10 out of 10, make sure that you message me this week so I can send a special GIF to you. All right. Well, hopefully we'll see you next week. Bye, everybody.